Welcome to Zach D TV, the place for interesting news from around net. In today's episode, we are going to look at a military helmet that looks like something straight from sci-fi. Then we have a healing technique that I know I've read about in sci-fi books. And we're going to wrap up with a cool drone that mimics nature. And keep in mind, if you want more interesting news seven days a week, click the subscribe button right over here. All right, let's get into this. This is the DevTech Ronin Helmet. DevTech is a manufacturer from Japan who, as you can see, gets their inspiration directly from Star Wars or maybe the Japanese animes. This helmet has seven millimeter Kevlar plates that are designed to resist up to a 44 Magnum bullet. It can also resist shrapnel, different blasts, and fire. Currently, British SAS forces are testing this helmet out, and I understand that it's going through testing with Navy SEALs and the Delta Force. This isn't just a helmet either. It also contains air conditioning, can act as a sealed unit for gas attacks, and has rails for night vision and stuff to that effect. It also uses what's known as a friend or foe system that will actually mark people on the inside of the goggles. And it can overlay GPS coordinates right in the goggles. It's the ultimate heads up display. Can you see why I say this is like something out of sci-fi? This is amazing. Now you might think, wait, weight would be a problem. It only comes in at 4.85 pounds, less than a bag of sugar. And for this kind of protection, I throw two bags of sugar on my head. Now, like I said, this is in developmental phases, so we're not going to see it in widespread use on the battlefield yet. But if it passes all of its testing, our military is going to look like the stuff of nightmares. Up next, I want to talk about some new research that just came out of Ohio State. This will be perfect for healing any of those wounds that might be sustained on a battlefield. Researchers published a paper in Nature Nanotechnology stating that their project, Tissue Nanotransfection, or TNT, can cause human skin cells to grow other types of cells. While they've only tested this on mice and pigs so far, it has had astounding effects. So basically how this works is their little chip device sits on the skin, on the area that you want to transform. And using a very intense, quick electrical field, it delivers specified genes into the target tissue. This causes that target tissue to start developing new cells based off of what type of gene you inject into it. According to Shandan Sen, he's a lead researcher in the study, he states that by using our novel nanochip technology, injured or compromised organs can be replaced. We have shown that skin is a fertile land where we can grow the elements of any organ that is declining. I told you, this is like science fiction stuff. But they have the evidence to back this up. Here you see a mouse leg, badly damaged. And you can see from scans that there is a lack of blood flow to it. According to this team, they applied their nanochip, injected the gene therapy, and within weeks, blood flow was returned to the leg. It actually grew new vessels, and the leg was saved. And in another test, they grew brain cells in the skin of a lab rat, who had suffered a stroke. They then took those brain cells, transferred them into the rat's brain, and were able to reverse the symptoms of stroke. The beautiful thing about this is because you're using the own body cells to create these replacement parts, there is no immunosuppression needed. These are part of your body. Your body's not gonna try to reject them. Well, now there is a long way to go before we are using this on humans, but they are seeing so many successes. They plan to start human trials next year the future is here people we'll be able to regrow livers kidneys hearts all using our own cells on our own bodies according to another researcher l james lee the concept is very simple as a matter of fact we were even surprised how it works so well and sometimes the simplest solution is the best and to wrap this up let's talk about festo they're a german industrial control and automation company that seems to like to dabble in creating robots based on successful animals in the animal kingdom. They call it biomimicry. As far as I can see, back around 2010, they started out doing things like a robotic kangaroo, jellyfish, butterflies. Recently, they released an octopus tentacle and even a robotic arm based on an elephant's trunk. Their newest device is the Bionicopter. Here it is. It is a RC drone shaped like a dragonfly. This is capable of flying in any direction, can tilt the wings to hover in place, and basically do anything that you see a dragonfly doing. And of course, they state that as the technology gets smaller, so will their dragonfly copter. Now that they have the flight perfectly mapped out, as this gets smaller, how many people think we'll see dragonfly-sized camera drones? That'll be something to look out for. And with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for stopping in. Let me know in the comments below, which of these was your favorite invention? Mine definitely has to be that TNT healing device. 
That is too cool. I do this five days a week. That's Monday through Friday. I do a live stream on Saturday and a short on Sunday. So I hope to see you here again. And until next time, have fun and be safe.